Well, hi there. These are rats. These rats come to us from Jessica's Animal Crossing, who is an awesome breeder of really cool rats and other cool creatures, reptiles mostly. We'll have links to their page down in the description. But I've been hinting at a rat video for a long time now. I talked about it in our video about cats. I gave a bit of foreshadowing about one of the worst things about rats in our video on octopodes. The reality is that I do bring up rats quite often because rats are shockingly amazing creatures. They make much more amazing pets than most people would ever imagine. But they also have some dreadful downsides. So today, I would like to talk to you about rats and give them a score based on our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. As I mentioned in our video on cats, I think these have a chance of being our highest scoring mammal of all time, which would require them to beat the 4.2 that we gave to cats. That's an awfully high score. But then again, cats are only arguably pets at all. So will the rat beat out the cat as our mammalian champions? And is the rat the best pet mammal for you? Let's find out, shall we? When it comes to handleability, we give the rat a score of four out of five. Now there are some downsides, downsides that could be deal breakers, but there are a lot of pros. One is that their tails, which can be severed with a carving knife, much like those of blind mice, cannot be dropped voluntarily. Hooray! They're also soft and warm, the fact that they produce their own heat means that they can be taken to places where reptiles and other poikilotherms cannot go. They're too small to pose any real danger to a human, though rat bites are no joke. And they're big enough that they can handle some moderately rough handling from a child, but you know, still be careful with them. They also, as long as they're socialized while young, love interaction with humans. Don't you guys? Yeah. They're like dogs. Of course, this can differ based on the individual, but rats are exceptionally social. It's adorable. In fact, they're so social that rats housed in isolation can die of loneliness. They form friendships with other rats. One study that made me fall in love with rats was one where they trained rats how to open doors to get a reward. In one scenario, they set it up so that there were two doors. Behind one door was a treat that they could see. Behind the other door was another rat, a rat they didn't know. This rat was also visible to them, so they knew what was behind the doors. Most animals smart enough to analyze this situation would get the treat and enjoy it alone. If they were feeling charitable, perhaps they would release the stranger, but that comes with certain risks and increased potential for competition. My sympathy, friend. You've no matter of luck at all. At the very least, they would wait until they'd finish the treat to do so. But not rats. Rats would release the stranger, then get the treat, bring it to their new friend, and share it. That's adorable. I love rats. But like I said, they have some downsides. Obviously, they're rodents. This does mean that they can carry more diseases that you can get than most pets. But if they live in your house, where are they getting these diseases? The much bigger concern, as that goes, would be the other people that live in your house that leave for hours a day to mingle with other disease-ridden humans. They're small enough to get lost in your house, but they love people, so they're likely to walk right up to you if you ever lose track of them in the house. Being rodents, they do have the ability to inflict a horrendous bite with that pair of continuously growing incisors that they have. It's nothing like the bite of a dog, but they basically have a nail gun attached to the end of their faces. But if they are socialized from a young age, that should never be a problem either. They do have some claws that you will feel when they walk all over you, but they're not going to do any damage. They have nothing on the claws of dogs or cats. The problem is really just the pooping and peeing. Some of this can be reduced with proper training. Rats are exceptionally intelligent and trainable, but they poop constantly. And males in particular will mark everything that they see as theirs. So everything with little drops of pee. The poop and pee are small, but if you're one of those weirdos that doesn't like a little turd on your shoulder or some pee on your hand, well, rats might not be for you. You're not a rodent person. 
Snakes might be more your speed. Rodents poop or pee at least once every seven minutes. Snakes, on the other hand, poop out one rodent every seven days. Probably not the right video for jokes about animals eating rodents. There's also the possibility that you can be allergic to rats. Rats do have fur and dander, and so just like any other mammal, you potentially could have a rat allergy. There's also the possibility that you could be allergic to their urine. And uh, either of those can be major considerations. So before you get a rat, definitely you probably want to handle a rat a little bit and see how you react to rats. When it comes to care, we give the rat a score of four out of five. For a mammal, rat care is fairly simple. Really, the one issue is that they are mammals that poop and pee virtually all of the time. They can be trained to use a litter box most of the time, but when you poop nonstop, accidents will happen. What this really means is that you need to use some sort of an absorbent bedding like aspen shavings or paper rodent beddings and change it often. I would avoid pine and cedar just like with reptiles. The oils can be harmful to rats. Something else to keep in mind is that you should not buy a single rat. I mentioned earlier that they can die from loneliness. Well, they can die from loneliness. You may think that you are going to be able to fill in for the role of companion, but you're just not. You do not have the time in the day to be an adequate companion for a rat, especially considering that the day is not when they're the most active. They need a friend. And unless you want dozens to hundreds of rats within a year or so, you should pick either to keep multiple males or multiple females or to have them spayed or neutered. There are some personality differences between the sexes. Females tend to be more outgoing and curious. Males tend to be more laid back and chill. And yes, it is okay to keep males together, even though that is not advised with most reptiles. Rats will play fight, but if there is no blood or loss of fur, they're just having fun. Also keep in mind that they produce red snot, so don't be stressed if you see a little bit of that from time to time. To avoid actual fights, it is best to provide plenty of space for them to explore. Not only will this be good for their mental health, but it also allows each rat to have its own space if tensions begin to rise. It's difficult to be locked in the same room 24 seven, even with your best friend. Multi-level coated wire enclosures with solid bottoms are best. We'll have links in the description like always. For water, a rodent water bottle should always be available. This is better than a bowl, which is very likely to be spilled and soil your substrate as well as mold and you know, it could cause other problems as well. Rats are natural swimmers, so believe me, that bowl is getting spilled. Quality pellet diets are a great option for food, and you can supplement this with other healthy foods that you might eat. Fruits, vegetables, pasta. You've seen ratatouille. Rats thrive near human habitation because they do well on the same sorts of foods that we do. That said, keep an eye on their weight. And I would recommend litter box training them. They generally pick a pooping spot, so just put the litter box there and use different bedding than the rest of the enclosure so that they can differentiate the poop spot from everywhere else. That said, still plan on regular substrate changes. Provide lots of toys, especially those designed for chewing so that their incisors can be kept at a proper length. Rodent teeth can grow so long that they make eating difficult and can even grow through the skull or the jaw. Uh, you don't want that. I think the best exercise equipment is a large enclosure with lots of room to explore and climb, but wheels can be used if they're solid in construction and not wire where there are many opportunities for injuries. Again, this is easy for a mammal, but mammals are not easy. When it comes to hardiness, what do you say about an animal that will live three years if you get lucky? Rats are not a long-term pet. Rats are intelligent, social animals that will steal your heart and then break it to pieces about two years later. So they don't live long, but for those two years, they're actually pretty hardy. So I would give them a score of four out of five. Cancer is probably what will kill them in the end, so don't be surprised when tumors start to show up. Not all are life-threatening, but they almost certainly will come. They're also prone to respiratory infections, colds, as well as kidney disease when they get old. And by old, I mean like a year and a half old. Rats just live in fast motion. They're sexually mature at two months old and often dead by two. Octopus keepers might be looking on enviously at this kind of longevity, but two to three years is short. The reason that it doesn't alter their score is because a short life is not necessarily a bad thing. Many people keep their passion for a pet only for a short time. It's easy to commit to a rat for life. Just prepare your heart from the start. It goes fast. When it comes to availability, we give the rat a score of five out of five. 
Rats are for sale almost everywhere that sells pets of any kind. But not all rats are created equal. And that is largely because rats are spectacularly easy to breed, and they aren't always bred for the same reason. Many places sell feeder rats. And the reality is that if you get a rat that was intended to be a feeder at a relatively young age, it can become a pretty good pet. But feeders are bred for numbers more than for quality. Personality and long-term health are often not very important when breeding feeder rats. But again, they can still be pretty good. Just don't expect to be in the three-year-old rat club anytime soon. Rats bred by a pet rat breeder are more likely to be less inbred, come from quality lines, and be bred for personality. They're also much more likely to be socialized before you get them. And let's face it, even expensive rats are very inexpensive, so there's just no reason to go with a feeder rat unless your ball python just decided that you should have a new pet. That can and does happen. And again, they can still be amazing pets. Pet rats bred to be pets are also more likely to come in a range of cool colors and pattern morphs, as well as other cool morphs that will make your rat extra unique and special. Like this double rex albino dumbo rat! Look at how ridiculous this is! Look at your curly whiskers, you goofball. They're amazing! When it comes to upfront costs, we give the rat a score of 5 out of 5. Rats, as I already said, are not expensive animals. They're easy to breed in huge numbers. They're just not going to be expensive. The enclosure will be your biggest expense, but really great enclosures are available for fairly reasonable prices. Substrate, toys, water bottles, and ceramic food dishes, as well as prepared diets, will not cost a fortune. Just be sure to set some money aside for vet visits as well. And that is why, overall, we give the rat a score of 4.4 out of 5. This makes the rat our current highest scoring mammal that we have ever covered. I do think that hedgehogs might give them a run for their money. What other mammals should we cover in the future? If what you want is a dog, but you don't have space for a dog, or dogs are too loud, and you don't mind a little poo, or rather a lot of little poos, then you might want to consider a rat. And if your problem with dogs is that they live like a decade too long, then the rat might be the perfect pet mammal for you. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Are you going to poop on my co cobra tie? Are you going to poop on my cobra tie? Yeah, I thought you might. I thought you might. You guys are the best. You're so cute. Hi. Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> did you poop again? You both did. Good on you. I'll scoop it up and hand it to Will. <laughs> it will be his favorite thing. All right, all right. Will's like, do we need a rat? I can tell. <laughs> you can tell. That's what Will's thinking about. He's like, man, getting a rat, Will? I don't think so. <laughs>